Whitney Houston's mother, Sissy Houston, a Grammy-winning singer, passes away at age 91. The celebrity passed away from Alzheimer's at home in New Jersey while receiving hospice care. The late Sissy Houston, renowned gospel singer and mother of the late Whitney Houston, passed away. She was 91. Houston, who was receiving hospice care for Alzheimer's disease, passed away at her New Jersey home on Monday, October 7, according to her daughter-in-law Pat Houston. We feel sadness and pain in our hearts. We have lost our family matriarch, Pat said in a statement. Mother Sissy has always been a powerful and formidable presence in our lives. A woman of deep faith and conviction, who cared greatly about family, ministry, and community. Her more than seven-decade career in entertainment and music will always hold a special place in our hearts. Pat went on, she has made incalculable contributions to popular music and culture. We consider ourselves fortunate and appreciative that God gave her so many years to be with us, and we are appreciative of all the priceless lessons she taught us about life. Together with her daughter Whitney, granddaughter Bobby Christina, and other loved ones, may she rest in peace. Additionally, Houston was the aunt of singers D.D. and Dion Warwick. In 1938, Houston started her singing career when she joined the Drink Card Four, a group consisting of her sister Anne, two brothers Larry and Nikki. She and her niece Dee Dee Warwick formed a group called the Sweet Inspirations in 1963. In a matter of years, the group was backing vocalists for musicians such as Wilson Pickett, Otis Redding, and Dusty Springfield. Later in 1967, they collaborated with the Jimi Hendrix Experience and in 1969 with Elvis Presley. The first solo record Houston released as a solo artist was titled, This Is My Vow in 1963. However, her name was spelled Sissy Houston on her earlier recordings. Her 1970 solo debut album presenting Sissy Houston featured hits like Be My Baby and I'll Be There. She provided backup vocals for Bette Midler's debut album in 1972. During her career, Houston received two Grammy Awards, one in 1996 for Face to Face, the best traditional soul gospel album, and another in 1998 for the album He Leadeth Me. Warwick told P.O.P.L.E. in February that Sissy had an incredible voice and that transferred to her little baby, Whitney. Whitney grew up in the church choir, just like the rest of us. She was going to sing, it was all predestined. She shared the same fate as the rest of the family. It was as though God was gesturing toward us, telling us to let their vocal cords do what they have to do. Watching Whitney was similar to reliving Sissy's teenage years. The commitment, the voice, she went on. Every little girl that came along after her wanted to be Whitney Houston. In 1987, she also recorded a duet called I Know Him So Well with her daughter Whitney. She recorded Family First with Whitney and Diane in 2006. From 1955 until 1997, Houston was wed to NBA basketball player Gary Garland. The two had a son named Gary. Houston got to know Whitney and Michael's father, John Russell Houston, in 1958. Nine great-grandchildren and six grandchildren remained after the couple's official 1991 divorce. In 2013, the star released a revealing memoir titled Remembering Whitney, where she wrote candidly about Whitney's severe drug problems and the downward spiral that led to her death by drowning in a hotel bathtub with traces of cocaine still in her system in February 2012. She started partying and she didn't really know how to stop, she stated. I used to wonder what she was doing at night where she was. But Whitney frequently ignored her calls when she tried to get in touch with her. Whitney managed to hide from me, stated Houston. Furthermore, she frequently avoided confronting her daughter when she did see her. She also acknowledged that the unexpected death of her daughter continued to haunt her. I'm angry she died alone, in those conditions, she continues. I'm still mad about that. Houston honored Whitney with a performance of Bridge Over Troubled Water at the BET Awards almost five months after her passing. She had been friends with Aretha Franklin for a long time, and in 2018, after her passing, she gave a statement to People. Aretha was my dear friend who I will deeply miss, the singer said about the Queen of Soul, who passed away at the age of 76 from pancreatic cancer, in a statement. I have known Aretha for over 50 years, both professionally as her backup singer and then as a friend, said Sissy. We'd have shared heartbreak, loss, as well as exaltation and great laughter and most importantly our mutual love of God. With Sissy Houston's passing at the age of 91, the world has lost a true matriarch as well as a legendary figure in music and religion. 
Sissy was a Grammy-winning musician, a loving mother to Whitney Houston. Sissy was a founding member of the Sweet Inspirations, a formidable vocal ensemble that provided support to legendary performers such as Otis Redding, Dusty Springfield, and ultimately, the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. Few vocalists could match Sissy's range and emotive power, so she quickly launched a solo career and cemented her status as a unique vocalist. Whether she performed as a soloist or background vocalist, her contributions to popular music helped to define the 20th century's musical style. Her landmark hits from her 1970 debut album, presenting Sissy Houston, demonstrated her versatility in pop and gospel music. Later, in 1996 and 1998, she was awarded two Grammys for her contributions to traditional gospel and soul music. Milestones in Sissy's life narrative extend beyond her musical career. It tells the tale of a mother who brought up three kids, one of whom went on to become a global celebrity. In many respects, Whitney Houston's ascent to fame was a direct result of the extraordinary talent and self-control she inherited from her mother. Whitney came up exactly the way we all did, in the church choir, her niece Dionne Warwick observed. It was simply meant to be. Sissy had a significant impact on Whitney's career in addition to being a mother, vocal coach, mentor, and collaborator. They performed on stage together multiple times, best known for their 1987 duet, I Know Him So Well. However, despite Sissy's career being in the spotlight, she also experienced a great deal of personal loss. Her spirit was greatly affected by the sudden death of her granddaughter Bobby Christina Brown and the tragic loss of her daughter Whitney in 2012. In her 2013 memoir, Remembering Whitney, Sissy opened up about her personal struggles. She described the anguish of seeing her daughter struggle with addiction and the disappointment that she was unable to save her. She wrote, I'm angry she died alone, in those conditions, echoing the grief that millions of fans worldwide have experienced. Nevertheless, Sissy never wavered in her faith. Her close relationship with God, which she cultivated throughout her life and instilled in her children, was the source of her strength. Sissy shared her gift of song in service to something greater, serving her church and community even after experiencing unfathomable heartbreak. She was more than just a performer, she was a conduit for the uplifting and healing power of music. Sissy was a part of a remarkable family legacy that included her nieces, the legendary Dion and Dee Dee Warwick, in addition to her own musical accomplishments. Collectively, they shaped a golden age of gospel and soul music, influencing listeners for many years to come. Sissy's voice, whether singing backup for Aretha Franklin or leading a choir in her local church, was always filled with a palpable sense of purpose and devotion. The influence of Sissy extends well beyond the recording studio and church walls. She was a spiritual leader who firmly believed in the strength of community and family. She was also a loving mother and faithful friend. Mutual respect and a common goal characterized their long-standing friendship with Aretha Franklin, another legendary figure in gospel music. After Aretha passed away in 2018, Sissy thought back on the decades they shared as friends and backup vocalists, bonded by their shared love of music and faith. Remembering Sissy Houston as more than just Whitney Houston's mother and a Grammy-winning vocalist is crucial as we consider her life and legacy. She was a strong believer who, in the face of hardship, never wavered in her convictions. Her impact on the lives of those who knew and loved her, including her six grandchildren and nine great-grandchildren, may be her most lasting legacy despite her unmatched contributions to the music industry. As we bid Sissy Houston farewell, we are reminded of the enormous influence that both music and religion can have on our lives. Not only will her family treasure her legacy, but also future generations of music enthusiasts who have been moved by her voice and her spirit. Sissy's life was one filled with triumphs and trials, with love and loss, but through it all, she remained a beacon of strength, guided by her faith and her deep commitment to her family. Her career in music is truly legendary. Starting from modest beginnings in Newark, she has shared stages with some of the biggest names in entertainment. Sissy Houston is a talented musician, but what really makes her stand out are her steadfast faith, her commitment to her family, and her strong sense of purpose. She touched the hearts of many during her seven decades as a performer, and her contributions to popular and gospel music will endure for years to come.